What's up, Sleeper Sport family? We back, and we have an update on the floor pans. Definitely got those out. Ah, it was hard work, but we got it done. That's all that counts, man. Just had to stay down, stay active, look at a few YouTube videos, hit up some of my partners on Instagram that could lead me in the right direction because I'm not trying to waste any time. I'm trying to get my build done. Uh, you know, just get good motion and keep everything going. So that's what I've been trying to do. So far as the four pans, definitely made sure I had to get those knocked out. Let me show y'all. Here we go. On the driver's side, we got the four plans out. I got nice, smooth um, lines. Tried to follow my outline pretty well, and I was successful with that. On this side, same motion. Successful, nice, smooth lines. Have to work on the back. This side, I can pretty much save, save that side because that's a surface rust. This side definitely will have to be repaired as we already know. But as far as the floor plans, for floor pans, let me say this correctly, that's the driver's side. So right now, I'm just out here trying to do a little mock-up on what I'm gonna have to trim down and uh, keep and what would have to go basically. You know, simple as that. Just doing a little simple outline on both sides. And what's left, from the extra, I'm gonna uh, use to patch up the back. So from looking at this, I'm gonna have a lot to use. So that's gonna be fine. On this side, I know it looks a little bit bigger, but it's just the angle of the wall, how they got it. So this is gonna, uh, I'm gonna make it work. So that's all I can say. We're gonna make it do what it do. You know, that's a nice little mock-up. It'll be fine. We'll make it happen. But as uh, far as my uh, cross member, this is what I got going on. So as you can see on this side, you know, the cross members go across at an angle. Those are the bolts for the cross member right here. But on this side, you know, it doesn't go directly across. It's kind of at an angle. So let me try to get the camera at a good angle. Um you really can't see it it's back here but it's on this side finger going through but you really can't see it but it's on this side at an angle so i'm trying to figure out do i want to um will it be easier to bolt it in or weld it i feel like welding would be more secure and that's probably going to be the direction i want to go because i have a welder machine so why not practice on my own vehicle so because i'm gonna weld the floors in might as well just keep it going so that's my idea about it but everything's been going pretty good for today um i did majority of the work on my other video but this was just the, fi the finisher for the um, driver's side come come here come. so um for today Everything been knocked out. Um, like I said, I just had to do a little mock-up, just show y'all what I had uh, finished up. And really, this was the main goal, was just going ahead and doing that. So we're about to go ahead and make this happen as far as just lining it up and making sure that we have like the best lines possible. So, let's figure out where to mount y'all up at. Move, move, get out of my face, move. Come all in my face. Get back, get back. Dogs don't like to listen.
you always gotta leave a little extra just in case. So, make sure I know where. So I did that about right. Kept as much as I want to right there. So I'm just trying to measure. See, I like to keep it flat. And whatever the, um, that Sharpie touch, that's the level I'm gonna go with. So I don't have to cut nothing right here, basically. That's what it's showing me. This is a top view. So y'all can see I'm just like, following it so you can see that's what I see right here boom boom that's how we're gonna do that now with this one we basically gonna need this whole like keep the sharpie right here right 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 boom So y'all can see from my angle, I just hold it, the Sharpie right here, boom, ride it across. Yeah, so that's what we got going. Fill that in. So we're going to chop this little this little section off right here. We're going to chop that off because we ain't gonna need that. We'll just use that for the extra. But we're gonna make this line thick because I want to make sure. We know where we at. The first black lines right here is when I had the floor plan. The uh, this pan, I was guesstimating an idea on like, like try to draw this out. I don't know what I was thinking, but it kind of worked. But I just feel like doing it that this way gives me a more realistic area that I need to cover. This uh, with the bam, the bam biggity. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that smooth though. I'm not gonna just have it too looped. I mean, too chopped up. I'm gonna keep it smooth when I cut it. That's why I wanna leave the extras. So, yep, there we go. That's what I need to cut. That's what I need to save. Might hit it right here. Then weld it back together. J 
just depending on what it looked like when I cut it off. Might have to do that on this side too. Split it a little bit. Gotta go. Yes, Sershki. Where my boy Akuma. Look at him. He's like, what's up? Tell him for what's up, fool. Hmm. Where my tea go? It's getting cold out here for the night, everybody. So, finally wanted to go ahead and uh, start wrapping it up because I don't want to be freezing. everybody for checking in with a little small update on the floor we're gonna keep the work going in the morning we're gonna keep the work going tomorrow because we want to just keep the motion going so tomorrow I'm gonna cut the floor four pans and we're gonna see about starting with the welder have I welded before no I have not so I don't know what I got going on but I'm gonna try it because you never know that's the only thing. The worst thing you can do is uh, not try. So you know that's what I'm going to do is make sure I figure out a way and uh, figure out a way to be great. So thank you, everybody, for checking in to Sleeper Sport. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll be back with some more episodes, hopefully every week, every other day. I have a lot of stuff going on, so I'm trying to get this done, too. So we'll be fitting everything in. Peace out. We back, we back. What's going on, Sleeper Sport? This is the next day we here. And this is what we got already set up. Got everything opened up. We are cutting the floor, the floor pan on the red line to mock up the fitting. So that's what we're doing right now. Y'all gonna ask me why I'm about, why I'm cutting it in the grass because the grass is moist and the sparks won't fly. And if the blade go through, I don't want it to be scratching the bottom of the concrete. So I'm just doing my cuts right now. And that's what we got going. All right, got my first chop. Across my line, I think I did pretty good on that. Very smooth, straight across. Now we're about to work on this. The bedding, how it fits when I cut this off, will um, determine if I'm gonna cut this and weld it back together inside the car. If I can get this to fit without having to chop, this right here, I'm gonna leave it. But sometimes I see some people, they have to cut it right here and go back and weld it in so it can be the perfect fit. So we're gonna see after my next chop and I'm about to um, put it back on the laps. All right, everybody, these are the chops. I think I did pretty okay. We're about to see if this will work. This is definitely gonna be the big test. Let's see. See where I'm at to uh, bend it up. At. Definitely gonna have to chop way more. That, that, that is 
pretty good though. Because that's what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna take this edge off right here. Cause this point has to connect to this point. I took it off because this was rusted, so I had to take this edge off, and that would allow this to connect right here, and it'll bring everything over to the left way more. See, once I bring it to the left way more, I have definitely it follows along the top and on my side. So I have to cut this wall off because it may, I mean, it clearly it makes sense. As y'all can see, because I didn't need to take anything off my wall on the side. So I have to cut this down so it will fit the same measurements. Great. So that's pretty good. So let me do a little mock up again. Oh, oh no. Yeah, let, let me get y'all back straight. Okay. Where's my Sharpie? Hold on, folks. Gotta get my Sharpie. Again, y'all see this gap? When I take this off, this corner will be able to connect. This is gonna slide down. Everything is gonna come to the left way more. Yeah. All they gotta go. Get this sharp, this sharpie mock-up. This is the original, as y'all can see. I took it all the way down so this gotta come off go when it comes to this corner you just got to guesstimate properly you ain't trying to take off too much but y'all see we got it going put y'all back on the laps all right all right let me show y'all what's going on man so, far as fitting, I did great for my first time doing this. I need a little to trim off a little bit on the left. As y'all can see, that would fit, right? On the left hand side. I need to trim a little bit more, probably like half an inch to get this to line up right here. Probably make it more curved. Make it more curved, like I said, and they'll fit right in. So, cause you, if you see on this side, 
this hole, this, this will fit right here. But, oh, you know what? I'm going to leave this just like that and cut the half, cut it off of here on this side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm going to do. I did good with cutting this side. Because it's supposed to sit like that. That's how it's supposed to sit. Right there. So I'll get my little half an inch off of this side. A little bit of trim off the wall on this side and I'll be fine. Ooh wee. That there there go right there. I am very happy about that. So, like I said, get this little half inch off that side. Then check out my plate. I gotta hold it. So, my plate go in here. I'm gonna smooth it out. The fit on this side. I'll be able to fit in this little gap on this side. I'm trying to get it to stay up so y'all can have a, a great idea. Damn, there we go. Just a little small, a little bit of cutting. And I'll be in the game. Yep, yep, that, that's what I need. So just probably a little bit of this. I need to come come a little bit harder right here I'm gonna leave that till I get it to touch because it's basically like that. I'm fine with that yeah let's see just that little side right there and just bam, follow that all the way down. slight trim and it's going to be in there so let me go ahead and get working on that and that'll be the next step yo update that's what we got going on so we have it basically fitting very very perfect i don't have anything at the bottom that will be able to um support it right now so i got it more to the left so it can fit, like, just hang there, as you can see, like, in the corners right here. So when I get something that can um, bend it, that's my main thing. I need this to be bent a little bit. I need too much. But, hey, we'll figure it out over time. Um, but as of right now, for right now, that's what we got. So when I bring it up. Oh, it just falls. That's what happens. But you can see it's directly perfect. So we'll make this happen. What's up, Sleeper Sport family? We back working on the cross member right now. Been out here already working for a little bit, just cleaning up the surface because I'm trying to debate if I'm going to try to weld in my cross member or bolt it in. I've been talking about that for a few days, so that's where I'm at right now. But I um, found out that my cross member is an angled cross member, not a straight across cross member. You have the cross members that go straight across your vehicle and you don't have no problems. It just lines straight up. The angle, there's, it's at, um, this point as you can see and this is higher 
on the left side and the right side is back a little bit. So I had to come up here and clean off this surface also because I didn't know that at first. Like I didn't know. I don't know none of this stuff, but I just learned it. So, you know, learn something new every day. So I cleaned off the surface, gonna get that lined up, debating if I'm gonna try to um, weld it. I really think I wanna try to weld it, you know? That's the direction I'm feeling. Welding and bolting. I feel like the more the more security, the more secure the car gonna go. So, I mean, you know, B, not go, but more secure the vehicle gonna be. But that's what I'm doing. No, a little small update to let y'all know I do have the cross member in, so. We are ready. Both sides cleaned up, as y'all can see. We are ready. So. Uh, yeah, you can't see anything out there, but we are ready. Probably gonna just uh, bring out the welder a little bit later today if I can't find any bolts. Bolts would be the simpler thing, but you know, simple is not always the way you wanna go. But you know, whatever works for my build and is whatever I come up to do at the end of the day. But a little small update. So I got some jack stands for my partner, Honeycomb Hideout to hold up the cross member while I'm trying to do my welding process. So I definitely needed those. As you can see, it's holding the cross member up, perfect angle. And tomorrow I'll be able to come out here and start tapping it with the welder and get that going. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks for everybody watching for today's little small little episode. So, yeah, like, share, subscribe, and holla at you.